everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 3 and we are looking at the next, next topic of this chapter that is 3.3 .3, experience based techniques and uh, we will first understand what is experience based techniques and as most probably we have done these things in the foundation and we already know a lot about this like experience based techniques are not the primary approach they are always applied once the formal techniques have been applied and experience based techniques add a lot of uh, additional values when you are adding more from your domain understanding and implementing with your expertise and understanding of the typical defects so to understand more in detail you can look at the card on the top which will take you to the foundation level uh, tutorial of experience based technique following that we are talking about what more can be asked to you in the advanced level so generally it is more important to understand what are the advantages and disadvantages of experience based testing so when it comes to uh, advantages we have similar some of the advantages listed here that it is effective at finding defects it may be good alternative to more structured approaches in cases where system documentation is poor. Of course, we know that the, the test basis is not the formal uh, specification or the code. Here, everything relates uh, when you're talking about your expertise on the domain and the product understanding and typical types of defects. So it is applicable when we have poor documentation or generally when you have time pressure and so on. It can be applied when testing time is severely restricted. It helps the team before uh, become familiar with the software as it is produced. It is effective when operational failures are analyzed because that time you will be uh, uh, understanding something on the real standards that generally the operation failures happen then you can try with some of the other possible outcomes of the same. On the other hand when you talk about the disadvantages of experience based testing or techniques it may be inappropriate in systems requiring detailed test documentation of course high levels of repeatability are difficult to achieve the ability to precisely assess the test coverage is limited because it's not documented most of the time so probably getting the coverage would be slightly complicated tests are less suited for subsequent automation uh, most of the time it requires personal intervention so per, uh, generally it will be uh, manual based so you cannot generally automate uh, the experience based techniques so uh, it's more important at this point of time for you to understand that what are experience based techniques how they add more value to your testing how they generally increase the uh, quality of the product which you are testing following that we are talking about the first technique under this segment which is error guessing error guessing again from the foundation we already know about uh, the error guessing technique where we try to predict the possible key areas where the defects can be found and test cases will be prepared on those data provided by the test analyst or the test manager so here we are going to further understand more in detail so if you want to understand the basics quickly you can go to the card on the top uh, taking you to the foundation level error guessing so it's really important for you to understand what kind of data will be used so being a test analyst it is important for the test analyst to make sure that to identify what areas would have common errors and where generally the developers may go wrong or not only about talking about developers going wrong it is also important to understand that what key areas might have critical defects or generally are complex to implement then we will be having several inputs which will be derived from those understanding and these inputs can be used to further create the test cases to uncover the defects. So for example, if a test analyst expects the software will exhibit uh, the failures when an invalid password is entered, test will be run to enter a variety of different values in the password field to verify if the error was indeed made and has resulted in a defect that can be seen as a failure when the tests are run. So we're just talking about trying with those possible areas where you think that the password is one of the example and you may try with several other examples to support that and see that the other inputs invalid data is not accepted in addition to being used as a test technique 
Uh, error guessing is also useful during risk analysis to identify potential failure modes. So it is very helpful in the risk analysis because generally you identify several risk areas in your scenario. Then those risk areas can be eliminated or mitigated with help of possible identifications of critical areas or errorness logic or any kind of uh, you know typical defects which you generally predict. So here are some of the uh, limitation and difficulties uh, which can be applied to the error guessing, uh, which makes you hold back to be applied all the time. So it always have uh, certain limitations or maybe critical areas where you can apply these techniques. So the limitation includes coverage is difficult to assess as we already know from the experience based understanding. Uh, not always you get a measurement on the coverage. It is best used by experienced tester who is familiar with the types of defects that are commonly introduced in the type of code being tested. It is commonly used but is frequently not documented and so may be less reproducible than other forms of testing. So in experience based testing we already know from foundation that these are having minimal documentation and we try to interact with the product as much as possible. Test cases may be documented, but in a way that only the author understands and can reproduce. That means probably a one-liner would be what you will be preparing here. And these one-liners will be just interacted with the product and uh, an outcome will be just written like maybe it passed or failed. But not a detailed or concrete level test cases will be documented, which uh, can be understood by someone else in the team. So. That's all what you need to know from the error guessing here uh, in this particular tutorial. We'll be getting back to you with the next one following this. Should you have any query, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you. Until then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Uh, thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.